thank you for staying with us. Uh, now, uh, this morning on health, we're doing uh, quite a bit of, uh, you know, uh, something with technology and health, right? We have uh, Dr. Dino Onifade now. He's a part of a COVID-19 response team with the Lagos State, Medical uh, Lagos State Emergency Medical Service and the Chief Marketing Officer for Dr. Connect, which is a health tech company on a mission to making quality health care uh, delivery possible via a mobile phone. Wonderful. We can do so much with our mobile phones. Now we can uh, get our health uh, you know, recommendations. We can get diagnosis and all of that via the mobile yes. phone, right? Yes. Hmm. How, how so? How so? How does it work? Okay. Yeah, this, this has actually been ongoing for a while now. Mm. It has been coming. We are expecting it to actually take over everywhere. So I think the first question we should answer is, mm. what exactly is health technology itself? Okay. Before we get to the how. Okay. So health technology itself is an organized set of knowledge and skills that can either be in the form of device, procedures, and vaccination. The vaccination you talked about in the last program, maybe remember that. So when you put all these things together, use them to solve a particular health problem and improve the quality of life. Okay. Most importantly in this part of the world, I think the, the what we should look about is reduce the cost to the patient and to governance. Okay. When you are able to do that, you see that quite a lot of people will be able to afford health service. COVID-19 right. taught us something that most people don't actually need to go to the hospital to get the basic things done. Why should you go and queue in general hospital when 75% of those people should not be there in the first instance? When they can get this thing done on their mobile phones. Mm, same way you started with banks, now we're moving into healthcare. So, exactly. in the layman's language, what we're saying is that you can access healthcare on your phone. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for the average man now, you have to, of course, it's made available via the app, app and yes. all of that to yeah. communicate. How does, how does that work? Okay. There is telemedicine, and mm. quite a lot of people understand telemedicine. There are a lot of companies that are doing telemedicine in Nigeria right now. But this time around, telemedicine itself in itself does not bring the experience of the hospital to the house. So what we are doing differently is that what are the things you get to do when you do the hospital? First, when you get to the hospital, they check your vital signs. Exactly. After you register, mm. you check your vital signs, you see the nurse, they check your BP, your sugar, and all that. When they do that, then you proceed to see the doctor after sorting you to the department you need to go. To go to. So what we have done differently is this. Why can't we bring the whole of that experience and bring it to your phone? so that the hospital itself is with you anywhere you go. Can I check my vitals on my phone? That's where we are going. Yes, you can do everything. How DIY. do I do that? How do okay. I do that? So we have bouquets of products. That's, there's a monitor we have that we have called a six-in-one health monitor that when you buy or get this device from us, you'll be able to check your blood pressure, your temperature, your SpO2 level, your ECG, your sugar level, your mood anal analysis. You do all those things through your phone and that device. You just connect and integrate that device with your application. When you do that, everything that you do, you need to check your blood sugar level, it gets uploaded to wherever your doctor is. It synchronizes, it's so. Okay, that is, an ex that is an ex another device. Yes. That's another device everything which you Everything is on need. your phone, yes. Okay. And another device that That's you get saying, from Another us. device that you get from us. So those are that device I'll use to check and yes. then it will be uploaded on the phone. Yes. So it's not, what phone. I'm saying is that it's not exclusively on the phone. No. There's an extra device There's that device. you need to get. Yes. All right. That's There's why I, that's what I, was, that's what yes. I was going to. There's a device. Okay. So when you now check this thing, let, let's say you are in Lagos, your, your doctor is in Quara State, not here, and you check all these things. Immediately your doctor gets it, immediately you do it yourself, just like what happened in the hospital. Yeah, is this device, is it really affordable for the average man? How affordable is we it? We have packages as low as 40,000 naira. Okay, for we this device. As, then we have insurance that can make people to pay over time. Okay, all right, over time, I like that. So once you, once, uh, you get your vitals and all that, it gets, does it automatically get, up, does it get uploaded automatically or you have to impute the details yourself? No, automatically. Okay. Once you have your Bluetooth on, it synchronizes it with synchronizes the device. And then and it sends it straight sent to, the to your doctor. And okay. you know the beautiful thing? Immediately you, your doctor gets this thing. Your doctor can call you through telemedicine service, that video or text or call, whatever, and he consults you. It's just seamless like you are just in the hospital. Mm. Everything is just continuous. Mm. And that's not the way, it, that's not where it ends. It proceeds again to people that are dealing with something like weight loss. Mm. Because there's a problem with weight loss that we are not really looking into, which is actually a major problem. I'm, I'm a slim person, I'm not a big person. If I stand on the weighing scale right now, they will say probably I weigh 70 something and I feel all is fine because I'm not obese. But there's something wrong in the 
BMI, BMI measurement itself. Because what it measures is the body mass index using your height and your weight. I have some visceral fats within me that is not taken account of. I have some fat collected in my vessels that is not taken account of. The bone mass is not looked into. The body content is not looking into. And they tell me that I'm healthy and I go home because I weigh some, something. That is what has been happening. So there's a new body of knowledge that we are pushing actively called the body composition analysis using our device. Okay. That place, you know that, okay, when you stand on the scale, we have the scale. When you stand on this scale, you know that, oh, this is what I'm weighing, this is my BMI, this is my bone mass, this is my fat content, this is my water content, this is my visceral fat level. It shows you about 11 parameters. So when you now know that, okay, this is, this is my weight, my weight is fine, but this what is What shows you? The weight the or the scale. app? The weight scale. Is synchronized that means the weight scale can also, um, it can also get your height because you need your height for your You BMI. are going to input your height. Okay, you're going that's to impute only, your that's height. Only thing exactly. I want to get that. Yes. Because for the weight, when you go on the weight scale, you don't impute your weight. No, yes. It sorts that out for yes. you. So, but your height, you have to impute it. So into that your you application. To, into the application yes. for it to sort your BMI. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So when 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 that is done, you, you said eleven about ten, eleven other parameters, uh, parameters that yes. are. What are those parameters? So, so that's the that's what I'm saying. That the weight. Okay. Your bone mass. Your bone mass. Your fat content. Your visceral fat content. You have your protein level. You have your ideal weight without fat. Mm. Ideal weight without the fat. Then you have your complete body composition analysis, like your physiological component, everything shows from mm. the application. Okay. And every day that you are checking it, it plots a graph for you. Mm. Like today, this is what you are. Tomorrow, this is what you are. Next, tomorrow, this is. So it keeps going. So when it gets killed to a particular side, you know something is wrong. I need to take action to my cholesterol level, to my water content, to my bone mass. And you see a lot of people register into weight loss programming or maybe diets. And they don't continue because they say, today I'm weighing 106. I've been doing this exercise, I'm still weighing 106. But when it comes to weight loss, it first starts from conversion, conversion of that fat into muscle. And it goes like that. There are different components that the weighing scale does not show you. So that period that you are not seeing that physical digit that is changing, exactly. something is happening. Something is happening. But you have been discouraged and you stop it. With our technology that we have we just launched now, you can just get on it and say that, okay, though it's not reflecting here, but it's happening already. You are on, motivated. On some other continue. places. So you yes. can see parameters changing, changing in some other places, I, which people need for motivation exactly. to keep themselves going. Exactly. I need to see something. Exactly. I need to see something. So you reward yourself and you continue. It still does not stop there. Then we had the, for the first time, we have the food scale that have our African food, that you can put your food on it and you know the kilocalorie of what that food is. Hmm. Your eba can go on it and say, okay, this eba that I'm eating this morning is 100 kilocalories. All I need to use for my weight loss program is to eat throughout the day is 200 kilocalories. So you can know, I've taken 100 calorie, kilocalories in the morning. This is what remains in the afternoon and night. The, 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 but it's on, it's on a weighing scale. Yes, you just put it on the weighing scale. Yeah. It's your plate and put it on the weighing scale. You know, some people can cheat with that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can they come? Okay, okay. Well, no. if it's a weighing scale, it's yes, almost... It's a weighing but, scale. but some foods some foods can weigh more and have less calories. Is that, is that possible? Yes, it's possible. Yes, it depends on the food itself. It depends on the food itself. Yes. So, some, yes. so let's, say, let's say, for instance, now, pounded yam will weigh more than amala. Yes, of course. <laughs> Probably definitely. because of the composition and of all of course. that. Okay, so but now, okay, but this weight now can be used to deduce the calories in the food. That's now, what you're saying. Yes, you now get the kilocalories. Mm. Now you know how many kilocalories you need to, use to eat to keep fit. Mm. You can now use it to own your health, own your weight loss program, own your diet. And you continue. Hmm. So this together with the weighing scale, our smart, intelligent weighing scale, full scale, everything together, you can use that to control. So because we look at these things, people progress, people don't look at nutrition before they go to intervention. Nutrition is quite very key because it progresses. If you take your nutrition very well, you are not going to progress to the type of to when you are going to need intervention. So most people get to the intervention time before they now go to the hospital. But by the time you look at your nutrition and the lifestyle, you know that this is what you need to do ideally for you not to now start going, I'm, I'm down with hypertension, I'm down with this, I'm down with that. And when you watch your diet, you get fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, this is all.
um, this is all quite new to a number of people, but then, like you said, it's it's the now. It's not just the future. It's the it's now. The it's now. something that everybody has it's to now. embrace. As soon it's as possible. even everywhere, even with Lagos Wonderful. State. Wonderful. They have this electronic health record system now that they don't carry cards all along anymore. Wonderful. When you get to the hospital now, you just get a card. It's just like an ATM card. Mm. All your details are input. The doctor already has it. He sees you, do the documentation. And send the drug to the pharmacy. You just go there. You are not carrying anything. You just go there, give them your number, thank you. and pick up. <laughs> Dr. Duran, thank you very much. <laughs> that was quite an expose on what you are doing. Um, uh, wishing you the best. Thank you thank so you. much. All right. Thank you for That's it me. on health and technology this morning. We'll take this time out now. It's still more to come.